So welcome to a broodmare update. We have three mares we need to look at today because we have three pregnant mares who are close to foaling. So we only have one that's now in her safe date, but we have a couple that are only one day apart in their due date. So let's start out with Happy, who is 312 days pregnant today. Okay, so they're all filthy. It's been muddy outside, it's been rainy, so don't judge how filthy they are. But Happy, went to the vet a couple days ago. She gave us a scare um, because she started having diarrhea. She started laying down and acting like she was in early labor. Now, after the fact, after we already took her to the vet and left her overnight and whatnot, um, it kind of looks like she might have just being a little dramatic. Maiden mares, first time mamas, sometimes go through that where they don't know why their stomach's hurting so bad because that baby's moving around. And, you know, I might have been a little dramatic for taking her to the vet Vet, but I don't like to play when it comes to diarrhea with horses. I didn't want her getting dehydrated. So I like to be safer than sorry. Our vet clinic is only 30 minutes away. So all is good with happy, but the last time we looked at her on YouTube, she was 303 days and it was the day she arrived um, because I just bought happy. So let's go ahead and look at her belly, her hip, her udder, all the things. And I think you're going to be very surprised by how much her udder has grown in the last week. So you can already see her tummy, she has gotten so much lower. She has gotten so much fuller. Now I do think we're feeding her a little bit more than her past um, home was. They had her on a ration balancer, which we are giving her a little bit of grain as well and alfalfa. Um, we wanna make sure she has enough protein in her diet to make good milk. Now look at her udder. Now for a maiden mare, this udder, the milk is already dropping down into the teats. So that is great to see. When I first saw her udder when she first came, I was like, oh my gosh, she has nothing. So it makes me glad to see that she is producing milk. And as far as her hip, she is getting softer, but she's not quite as soft as I would expect for one that's about to have her baby. So she's about a week away from her safe date. I'm glad to see. Oh yeah, and her tail is still pretty stiff. I'm happy to see that. I wouldn't want her to be too, too loose at this point in her pregnancy. So take a look at her udder. Maybe we could look at what a week has done in the change in that because it's kind of crazy. So that's Happy's update. So next up is cool. And like I said, it's been a muddy mess outside. So don't judge the fact that they all went rolling. But Cool is only one day ahead of Miss Happy. So she's at day 314. Now they are new neighbors, okay? They have not met each other until today because we had to do some swapping around with stalls. So she's being a little tooty towards Miss Happy. Abigail, we can hold her and just kind of like, you know, talk to her a little bit. Hi, honey. Now Cool, is not a first time mama. She's had quite a few babies and she's 21 years old. Little different than eight year old maiden mare happy. Um, so her belly has starting to drop a lot. Not uncommon for a mare that's had multiple pregnancies to start showing that drop a lot sooner. Her hip is a lot jigglier. You can probably see from over there. I mean, it jiggles out here and she's only one day farther ahead. Now she had her last baby with us. Oh my gosh, look at how jiggly that is. That's crazy. So she's only six days from her safe date. Um, I know in the past from her old owners telling me that she had some babies in the 320s. In my experience, we've only had one foal with her, which was two years ago, and it was born at 335, I think. So only like five days early. Um, her tail stays decently loose, but I think she's kind of paying attention to other things. So it's kind of rigid right now. And then her udder, honestly doesn't even look as big as Happy's. It doesn't have near, like, near the amount of milk in it that Happy's does. Different mares, they're gonna show different signs. I know in the past, she did not have any trouble producing milk, so I'm not really worried about Miss Cool right now. And her weight looks great, so very excited for that. She needs to make it one more week, and then we're comfortable. So Ginger got moved to the big stall. So she's at 320 days. Today is Ginger's safe date. Now I think she might be a little nervous moving down here, which is why I moved her so early. I didn't wanna move her down here right when I thought she was gonna have her baby and then she not have time to settle down. Now this isn't like uncommon for Ginger. Ginger um, had to have surgery as a young foal. She had to be on stall rest for almost a complete year. That's why she's a brood mare because she had an injury that she will never be able to be ridden from. So she actually formed a few habits while she was on stall rest, like some nervous habits from being kept up and bored. So this isn't necessarily 
it's normal for ginger, but it's not normal for everybody. You know what I'm saying? So let's get in here and look at you, baby girl. So Ginger is the mare. We were really worried about the fact that she had lost some weight and she looks great. This is her first baby as well. She's a really young mare. So her weight right now makes me happy. I know some other mares, this might be small, but that looks fantastic to me. And she's already started to make a bag. Oh my gosh. Where'd your glasses go? Gingy. So I'm gonna come over here and look at Gingy's udder, hi honey. Oh yeah, she's starting to really make a bag. No wax though. So wax is when the colostrum starts to coagulate at the tip of the teat. A lot of the times that is showing that the mare will foal soon, especially when the wax and the milk turns opaque white. So she doesn't have any of that. Now, that doesn't mean anything because I've had plenty of mares that don't wax at all any time before they fall, And then I've had another mare that waxed for 21 days straight. So they just like to keep you on your toes. Hi, honey, let me look at your booty. She's really starting to soften up. She's getting really soft back here in the rear end. Again, she's a maiden, she's young. She might not get quite as soft. And then her tail, she still has a little resistance in it, but a little softer than it was because she used to not let me pick it up at all. So Miss Gingy, you're looking so good. Ginger's just gonna be Ginger back here, okay? So don't worry about it. Um, but I hope y'all enjoyed that update. We will be keeping track of Happy and Cool as well. We're really hoping they make it really well to their safe date, so another week for them. And stay tuned. After Ginger, Happy, and Cool, there's three more. So I'm not gonna sleep at all but that's okay. Let me know if you have any questions, comment, subscribe, like, those three things help me out so much, and I'll see you in the next update.